What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna be going over the basics of baseline. This is the pure bare bones of it. We're gonna go into a three three five. We're gonna start in cover two man, then we're gonna go in straight into camp two. If there's anything in specific that you guys want me to go over with baseline, feel free to let me know down below in the comments and I will make another video talking about that in particular so in a non-baseline a man coverage everybody is a man line that is exactly how it should be and that's exactly how it will be you can now press you can now individually shade etc etc they are also i think this is a much better miss or much better matchup than having linebacker and wide receiver they are also matched up as well i think significantly better especially in a gun bunch now when you baseline the man a lot the man assignments now change that's something that's extremely important to understand because now there's a huge mismatch, huge mismatch with this linebacker and Calvin Ridley. Even though it's all, or sorry, Muhammad Sunu Senior. There's now a big mismatch. Even though it may be only practice mode, you're going to give up a lot more plays with a linebacker given or linebacker manned up to a wide receiver in a game of regs. So your man assignments change in a baseline versus a man line you can always reset that baseline as well and they'll go back to their original positions by hitting y r b or r1 or triangle r1 y r b depending on your console and then they'll go back to the regular man assignments man coverage you can also if you do a baseline you can press and you can back off individual by doing individual coverage y a we're gonna go ahead and press julio jones x down on the right stick he's now pressing him although he's got a bad press if julio jones is running a slant he's got inside leverage and he's gonna just absolutely toast your db or your corner in this particular situation so now what we can also do is we can just back him off those are the only two things you can do in a baseline in man coverage we're gonna go ahead and reset back into man align. So we're gonna go ahead and press Julio Jones. This time we're gonna go ahead and do an individual coverage. We're gonna go ahead and shade him to the right or shade him to the left. This is kind of where you need to start practicing with different kinds of shades, what works best against different route combos. The only thing in man coverage that, well, there's obviously you got man beating routes like double moves, but the biggest one you will not be able to beat no matter how you shade, no matter how you press, is a comeback route. That's gonna get open every single time against man coverage, no questions, unless you put a zone assignment out there. So we're gonna go ahead, let's just shade him to the inside or shade him to the right. So you can go Y, A, X, right on the right stick. If you think it's gonna run an out route, Y, A, X, left on the right stick. Now, of course, Julio Jones is just gonna completely toast this man simply because it's Julio Jones and uh, it's just a mismatch to begin with. But if you were to have an equivalent cornerback there, he's gonna play that post route 20 times better than just this average Joe. I don't even know who that is, honestly. But that's the principle behind a baseline. Now in a zone assignment, we're gonna go into attempt two. You notice the corner now comes over. He's no longer in a man assignment. He's now in a blitzing assignment. We're gonna go to baseline. We can now no longer press. We're gonna go Y, A, X, individual assign Julio Jones. I'm going down on the right stick. Y, A, X. Why? There's there's nothing in the zone assignment. You cannot press. You cannot back off. You can't even sh like just like man defense and a baseline. You can't shade right. You can't shade left. You literally can't do anything at all with individuals in the zone coverage. Now what you can do still, and what you could do in regular man line is you could still shade to the outside. You could still shade to the inside, over the top, underneath. You can still do all that no matter what kind of alignment you are in whether it's a baseline or whether it is a man align that does not change it but i think that's pretty much going to take care of just this is the bare bones again it's just a really really simple video of explaining a little bit of baseline and man align behind it of course if you guys want anything covered in specific please let me know down below in the comment section and I'm, i'll make a more in-depth video especially if you guys want a video of when to baseline against certain runs when to baseline against certain passes and all this other wonderful things one final note there are two things two reasons that players baseline and two reasons only the first one blitzing most blitzes require a baseline there are some that do not but there's that is very few and far in between the next reason to bluff their coverage if you baseline it's going to look like a cover four and it's going to look the exact same no matter what play you call if you were to call a cover three if you were to call a cover two if you were to call a cover four if you were to call a man defense it's going to look the exact same every single time no question whatsoever so it's a great way to bluff it it's also a great way to get a 
huge mismatch. So just keep that in mind when you're doing baseline versus a man line, especially when you are going against top tier receivers and a top tier player as well. So this is just a very basic video covering baseline. Again, let me know down below, down below in the comment section what you guys want to cover more specific and I'll make a video going over that. But until next time, be sure you guys get into practice mode to really run this and I will see ya.